Hello my lovelies, welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are doing absolutely fantastic. Today I'm talking about all of my favorite products. I got a little bit of everything. Some perfume, of course, we got some skincare, some makeup, a little bit of fashion, which I never really talk about on my channel, but there are two items that I have just been wearing on repeat, and of course, one hair care product. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I haven't done a favorites in what? Well, I think I did one last month. I'm pretty sure I did, but I hope you guys are doing fantastic. Please leave a comment down below. I love chatting with you guys. Leave a mark, say what's up. Don't be afraid. I don't buy, okay? And if you're new to the channel, please subscribe if you haven't already. And, um, uh, without further ado, let's get into it. Oh, get yourself something to drink. You guys know that I love to talk. So get something to drink and let's do this. I didn't put any powder under my eyes today and I'm wearing a really hydrating concealer. Hopefully it's not looking greasy or anything like that. Um, I left my powder downstairs in my filming space, which is where I'm supposed to be filming, but here we are again in my room making a hot mess. So I'm gonna start off with fragrances. And honestly, if you've been following me on TikTok or on Instagram, this fragrance over here has been making an appearance non-stop. And that is Rose 31 from Le Labo. Oh my goodness, guys, I'm obsessed with her. I got this fragrance in December for uh, Christmas and this is just the epitome of the I can't even talk blah, blah, blah. <laughs> This is the epitome of what I want to smell like it's so sophisticated Elegant clean. It's definitely more of that rose with a musky woody dry down but she is so lavish and here on this channel we love to smell lavish i really appreciate that you can customize the label and if you're here in canada a lot of people don't know specifically in toronto you can go ahead and pick this up at Saks fifth avenue downtown toronto they have the entire Le Labo counter so you can try out all of their fragrances customize your label and you're good to go so yeah you can go ahead and get that there uh i know a couple of you guys recommended me checking out another 13 and there's a few other ones but leave a comment down below let me know what else from Le Labo do I need in my life and I'll be honest I really liked this one when I first got it but I wasn't in love with it now I'm truly in love with it and I feel like I'm gonna have to get a second bottle when I'm done which um feels like it's gonna be pretty soon because look at that look at the dent that is insane like when I tell you guys I love something I'm not, I'm not messing around. The other fragrance that I really like um, is this tiny little one. I only have like the deluxe sample size. I really want the full bottle. It's from Garlan. It's from their, you know, private collection. It's called Santal Pau Rosa. And I'll show you guys what that looks like. How cute is this bottle? Like, are you kidding me right now? How cute, I need the full size and you can see I have a dent on there. It's a very beautiful rose scent and yes, I can finally say I love rose fragrances. What? A year ago, I hated rose fragrances. A year ago, I was like a gourmand lover, but I have discovered that I am a floral girl. I love different variation of floral fragrances. They just do something to me. They make me feel quite feminine, elegant, and all of, all of the things that I wanna exude when I walk into a room. Oh, this is beautiful. Oh my God, it's so, it's like feminine without it being sweet. And that's the thing that with rose fragrances that I'm loving, they're not sweet. They don't smell juvenile. They don't smell cheap. They smell very exquisite and very lavish. I need a full size bottle. Don't know when I'll get it, but I definitely need a full size bottle. It's, it's stunning. It's so, so stunning. Love this one also. And this is another one that lasts really well on me. Now, mind you, when I wear my fragrances, just based off of this dent, I am not light handed. I will spray. Okay. I will go ahead and spray because I want it to, to, to be noticed. I want to smell good. I want myself to be able to smell it. I want to walk into a room and leave a trail. So some that might be a little obnoxious to me, if you're spending this kind of money, oh yeah, my, my fragrance has to uh, make a little bit of a statement for sure. <laughs> 
<laughs> and then the next uh, and the last fragrance that I'm going to talk about is a little bit of a surprise. So I was going through all of my fragrances and I was looking for that clean girl aesthetic fragrances. And I smelled this one and I'm like, this is giving me that vibe because I'm really into the, you know, hair pulled back, minimal makeup, you know, glowy skin type of look lately. And there are certain fragrances that just go with that look. And this is Tom Ford Ombre Leather. Hear me out. When I first got this fragrance, I was like, uh, no, I smell like a man. It is definitely unisex towards the masculine side. It's quite leathery, it is quite woody, but there is like this strange freshness to this fragrance that just always goes with the vibe that I've been on right now, which is the hair pulled back, the light makeup, a lot of neutral tones. I've been wearing a lot of like open button up shirts that are oversized with a little top and maybe some jeans or some trousers. It just goes with that whole aesthetic and I've just been loving it. Mind you, I have layered this with my Le Labo. I have also layered it with this one. I find that this layers nicely with rose fragrances. It just brings out a little bit more freshness and a little bit more of a feminine touch to this scent. If I wear it alone, I don't overspray. I'll go quite light because I do find this to be pretty potent and it lasts really well on me. And so I've just been loving it when I'm when I'm in that that vibe which has been lately. It just goes really nicely. It does have a bit of a slight sweet tone in the dry down, maybe like a creamy sandal woody tone. That's what I'm picking up, but I just I'm surprised that I like it because when I first got it, I was like, I cannot wear this. I'm giving it to my husband. And then I put it on the other day and I'm like, mm, okay, she smells good. She smells good. So, uh, this is Tom Ford's ombre leather. And this is the, um, stronger version. This is the parfum version of that fragrance. And I love the bottle also very chic. All right, so now we are going to talk about makeup. I have everything behind me here. That's why I keep looking back. Let's talk about foundation. I have two, and I think I didn't mention them on my last favorites video. If I did, it's because I really, really love it, and I forgot what I mentioned before. So I have two foundations over here. This is from Rare Beauty. It is their tinted moisturizer. Actually, I have it in the shade uh, 42N, and it's called the Positive Light Tinted Moisturizer. I love this stuff. I think it's just beautiful. It's perfect for like an everyday wear. I believe I have a review on it. If you guys want to check it out, check it out. I haven't done a makeup review in so long, but I did for this one. So check that one out. It is for the girlies that don't want to do too much on the skin. You want a very light coverage, even out the skin tone, cover a little bit of redness. Definitely recommend this one. The shade range I think is great. And I think that each shade is quite diverse. Like a lot of people can still use this specific shade because they're very forgiving. It's not overly pigmented to the point that it looks off if it's not your perfect match. Do you, you know what I mean? Like when I first put this on, it looked dark, but when I started to blend it and then did my concealer, it matched perfectly. So really, really love this one. Very lightweight, super easy to use. You can use it with your hand, with a brush, and you are good to go. It's slightly buildable, but not too much. And then this is Charlotte Tilbury, beautiful skin and Honey, get this right now. It is what I'm wearing. It is a flawless foundation without it looking cakey. Does it have coverage? Absolutely. It has beautiful coverage. I'm in the shade nine neutral and I think it's like the perfect match for me. It has medium coverage. It's blendable. It gives you a beautiful kind of dewy finish absolutely stunning foundation. A little goes a long way. I love this one. I've been using it quite a bit for concealer. This is the concealer that I'm using right now. It is from Kosas and it is, I don't know what it's called, but I have it in the shade 6.2 N and the match is perfect. It's not too bright to the point that you see a very distinct different, different 
tone under my eyes versus the rest of my face, which I don't really like that look. To some people, it looks absolutely stunning. Like you UK girls, when you do the light concealer, like it just looks flawless. But on me, it's just not my vibe anymore. So I tend to go with concealers that are very close to my skin tone, just brighten up a little bit. And I really, really like this one. I like that it's quite hydrating. So if you have very dry under eyes, I would recommend you check this one out. It looks beautiful under the eyes. The coverage is really, really good. Now I do let my concealer sit for a few seconds, sometimes even a minute, and then I'll blend it out. And I feel like you get more of that coverage. By the way, check out my Instagram for makeup tips. I always give a lot of makeup tips there now. So I have one on concealer, so check it out. But I have just been really enjoying this one a lot and the color is great. Uh, this is a product that I've had for some time now. This is the Chanel Le Beige water fresh tint in the shade deep so when i first picked this up it was during the summer it slightly matched me to give like a bronzy look on the skin and then apply the foundation but i actually have been using this as a bronzer and honey i'm obsessed with how soft and natural and skin like it looks and at the same time it gives me a little bit of a glow Oh, amazing. Like I love this stuff so much and I've been using it exclusively as a bronzer and I think it just looks so soft on the skin. I have it on right now, by the way, guys. Love it. It's the shade Deep again. And this product is really, really cool. It's quite different. I'll show you guys. It has this technology to it or formula that when you dispense it, the particles are kind of separated, like the pigment and the liquid is separated. And then what you want to do is blend it out and mix everything together and you start to get the pigment. So this is the color that I get on my cheeks. And look at that, it's a beautiful, color to bronze but it almost looks like it's mixed into water it's a very very liquidy very loose very hydrating so i love this product i think it's a very unique formula and i do want to mention that once it's on the skin it literally stays put i don't feel like it moves around at all so three more products for makeup starting with well not starting but continuing with my brow mascara no no how do you call it? It's the brow, the brow wet, this. <laughs> Anyways, this is from a brand called Riffy. I don't know, like this is the brand right here. And I saw this a lot on TikTok. I don't know if they have two versions of this brow thing, but I just got the simple one that comes with the spoolie and I'm good to go. And this will literally be glue, like Gorilla Glue for your eyebrows. like. My eyebrows are not going anywhere. However I place them, it sticks and it stays all day long, like all day long. Now you will have a little bit of a hard brow feel, which I don't care, honestly. It doesn't feel heavy on my skin, but if I touch it, it does feel like I have product on my eyebrows. But when I look at it, honey, she is, She's stuck in place all day long. Next product that I'm gonna mention, did I mention this before? I don't know, this is from Rare Beauty, another Rare Beauty product. It's their liquid blush in the color Encourage. It's what I have on right now. It's a really beautiful kind of muted pink and I'm obsessed with the color. Now the formula is dangerous, okay? And I say dangerous because this is the most pigmented blush I have ever encountered. This can go from zero to 100 real quick. Uh, you want to use the tiniest amount of blush because it's so pigmented. It literally spreads so much. So what I do is I grab the, the brush, I take off a little bit, and then I just do one, two, boom, that's it. Blend it out with a brush and I'm good to go. And I always apply it on this point of my cheekbones like really really high and then it kind of diffuses as you blend it out to the apples of your cheeks love it i love the color it's really beautiful very fresh and perfect for like any look whether i'm going for a smoky eye a very natural look a no makeup look it just really is the perfect color and then the last item that i'm going to talk about is from charlotte tilbury honey and i will say that charlotte tilbury is taking all of my money. She is definitely 
taking over my makeup routine. Oh my God, I am just amazed by all of the products that I have purchased from her recently and I am astonished by how much I love them all. So Charlotte Tilbury, you are doing a fab job. Anyways, <laughs> uh, this is a lipstick that I found recently at Sephora. It's uh, it's a different collection. It's more of like a hydrating collection that she has. I think there's only a few of them. This is the color Pillow Talk. And honey, if you love a lipstick that gives you that pouty, juicy lip look, you definitely want to try that. It's like a balm and a lipstick in one. Look at that color. It is so gorgeous. And I am definitely a huge fan of the Pillow Talk collection. So this is beautiful. I will mention one more thing from Charlotte Tilbury, honey. This, this right here is her cream eyeshadow. I'm kind of confused because I bought this from Sephora and it says the color hot chocolate bronze on the box. But when I open it up, it says oyster pearl on the back. So it doesn't look like an oyster pearl. It looks like a bronze. So I don't know if they made a mistake with the back of the sticker, but this to me is a gorgeous color and I have it on right now. And I did a very, very light tap of this on the eyelids, but you can definitely intensify it and get that smoky, sultry look. So I only have one hair product to talk about, so I'm just gonna get it out of the way, and it's this one over here, Oasis Plus. I have hair all over it because I used it on my daughter too this morning, but this is their Extreme Hold Mousse. Love this. When I do my slick hair looks, especially the bun, when I bun up my hair, uh, <laughs> that sounded weird, but when I do my slick hair looks, I use this just over here in the front, and it just slicks everything back, but it gives that wet kind of look to the hair, and it just looks so slick back. So I have a little fashion uh, favorite to show you guys. I'm starting off with this bag over here. I mean, isn't she the most adorable thing you have ever seen? So the other day, not the other day, a couple of months back, I was on Instagram on Mariana Hewitt's uh, Instagram page, and I saw on her stories that she posted a little outfit of the day and she had this and I'm like what excuse you what is this right here and I think a couple of people asked so then she posted that this was a vintage um what is this called like a mini speedy from Louis Vuitton but this one is the vintage one they did come out with a newer version which the canvas and stuff is a little bit brighter and even like the the handles and all that stuff, it's like, it's a different tone. This one is more of like a brown as opposed to the new one, which is more of like a tan, not even a tan, it's like a beige. I preferred the vintage one. So I went scouting for the vintage one all over the internet. And then I found a couple of people that were selling the little vintage one. And guess what, ladies? It's way cheaper than the new one. And I think that the vintage just has a little bit more character. I like that the canvas is nice and soft. There's a little bit of ridges here and there. I don't mind that at all, especially in vintage bags, especially with the Louis Vuitton bags. I find the older they are, the better they look. Sometimes the newer ones look a little bit like cheapy almost, but I really like when it's kind of squishy and stuff like that. Maybe that's just me. But yeah, I've just been loving this cute little bag. I wear it everywhere. My husband thinks it's ridiculous because you can barely fit anything. I can fit my wallet in here, my lip gloss. I can fit a pen in here. Anything that I need, I fit in here except for my phone. <laughs> my phone cannot go in here. So this is really like not new at all. You can see that there is a lot of wear and tear on this bag and even this little piece is ripped off, but I didn't mind it at all. You can get a one that's a little bit more more, you know, nicer, but I've had this one for a couple of weeks now and I love it. Um, the only thing is that this didn't come with it. This is the strap for my Pouchette Matisse. I just removed it and placed it on the bag. You can get a longer strap for this little baggie here online, but I already had this strap, so I'm completely fine with wearing it like this. And uh, this has been my kind of go-to bag. So two fashion items that I'm gonna mention real quick and I'm gonna add pictures of me wearing it so I don't have to like film it. 
but um, H&M, H&M is doing good. Recently, I revamped my entire closet. Literally, I went through every single drawer and my closet and got rid of 95% of all my clothes because I felt like I was drowning in clothes but had nothing to wear. So I went through this process of like researching my personal style. What do I wanna feel like when I get dressed? How do I wanna present myself, you know what I mean? And I pinned a bunch of pictures on Pinterest that really re resonated with me that I looked at and I was like, wow, that looks gorgeous. And I found that a lot of the clothes that I had were more trendy clothes and I never wore them or I wore them once and then I got over it I didn't have a lot of staples which are you know your basic button-up shirts your basic jeans your you know your basic tops I didn't have a ton of staples I had more like fashion trendy items and so it was really hard for me to put outfits together because I always felt like I had to go buy another outfit to put an outfit together, which is kind of weird. But anyways, I went through everything. I got rid of 95% of my clothes and I started from scratch, okay? I bought all of the staple pieces that I needed. So button up shirts, um, casual black and white t-shirts. I bought trousers, um, khakis, neutral tones so that I can put outfits together very easily. My body suits are neutral tones and then a few pops of colors if I want to. But now when I open my closet, it's like so easy to put on an outfit. Like I just pull it and I'm like, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, that goes together, good, good, good. I feel incredible, okay? If you guys want me to talk about it on here on YouTube, let me know. I do talk about it on my Instagram and on TikTok, but if you guys want me to show you how I did it, what are the staples that I bought, how I'm putting my outfits together, let me know. My style is very casual chic, I like to call it. Um, I don't like super tight clothes. I don't like super revealing clothes. It's just not my style. I love a good blazer with jeans and a bodysuit. I love a button-up shirt with some trousers and uh, some booties or even some sneakers or some strappy heels. I'm kind of like into that style. I love, love my neutrals with a little bit of pop of color here and there. This shirt over here from H&M has been one of my favorites. It's their oversized shirt. I have it in the size small and it is huge. It's, it's truly oversized, so don't don't try and go up a size at all. No, 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 no. Get the small. <laughs> I would have got the extra small if they had it. But I love this baby blue tone on me. I've been wearing it so much that my Instagram feed has a theme now. It is baby blue all over the place. And it's super comfortable. And you can wear this in so many ways because it's so huge. You can actually wear this as a shirt dress. You could wear this with jeans, with leggings, with a bodysuit. Um, you can tuck this in you can wrap it around there's just so many ways I got this in the blue and there's also one in the white that I got there was one in the pink but I wasn't able to snag it up and it's been out of stock I don't know if it's back in stock but such a comfy shirt it's a must-have it's like easy to put so many different looks together and then the next item that I got are these pants they are like jeans material but they have an elastic waistband which is so comfortable and they hit perfectly on my like the length of them are perfect I don't need to get them hemmed which is a thing that I need to do I need to hem pretty much all of my pants because they're all so long but these one I just love how casual they are I love the fit of them um, they look like this right here they fit really nicely at the waist I have mine in the size 10 and it is perfect it's not too tight it's quite casual you can wear this with like sneakers or even loafers or or you can dress it up a little bit with some strappy heels and then a bodysuit and a belt and you are good to go and I have just been loving the fit of them if they had them in like a jeans material like a blue tone I would absolutely get it but I only saw it in this color um, I don't know if they have it in black I'll have to check the website but I'll try and link everything down below if it's still in stock but let me know if you guys want me to do like a fashion style video and I can talk about my experience with going through my entire closet because I do have little videos on that because I was documenting it but let me know anyways 
this video is way too long um thank you so much for watching thank you for being a part of this channel and if you haven't subscribed already please go ahead and hit that subscribe button let me know how you're doing in the comment section what are your favorites and i will see you all on the next video ciao